Hello, beautiful mama. Welcome to the Fit Mama YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Megan. I am going to be your trainer for today, and I'm so excited. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with another mom friend, and comment below workout done after so I can cheer you on. I'm a small creator, so all the love helps, and I just thank you for being here today, letting me into your home so you can get a great workout in today. So we are doing a 15 minute, no repeat upper body strength workout. All you need is dumbbells. I'm gonna have multiple dumbbell sets cause it's gonna, it's gonna get heavy, okay? It's gonna get heavy, all right? So, you guys ready? <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna start at the back of my bat, mat. Big inhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Exhale, just ground down, get connected with the body for one moment. Tell the body, hey, this is what we're doing today, all right? Inchworms here, bending at the hips. I'm just gonna walk my arms out. Take your time, especially if you're doing this in the morning, you guys. You need a little extra time to warm up in the morning and then walk those hands back and then back out again. Your knees can be slightly bent. No need to make them crazy straight. <sighs> we are gonna do this. It's gonna be so much fun. And as always, you guys, if you're loving these workouts, be sure to check out the Fit Mama app below. Also the free Facebook group I have and then anything else I have linked below. <laughs> I always gotta tell you that because people are like, where can I get more? I got you, girl. Couple more here. Whew, walk it out one more time. One more time, one more time. We gotta get really warm, because let me tell you. It doesn't seem like a lot when we're strength training, but it's gonna get heavy, okay? Slowly come up out of that arm circles here. Now, strength training is really important as moms, especially as we start to age. Like, girl, if you're hitting 35 and we haven't strength trained yet, it's time. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't even have to go to the gym. You can do it right here in your home. Opposite direction with the arm circles here, but it really helps the aging process. We all want that, right? Um, overall feeling good and it really helps with fat loss. So making sure you're strength training anywhere between two, three, four times a week can really show huge benefits. As we age, overall being able to keep up with our kids, all the things, you guys know the deal, okay? Whoo! Hands come down, we're gonna do some shoulder shrugs. Shoulder shrugs, that's a mouthful. I want you to lift up and then back behind you. So a little circle, bring them up, back behind you, come forward. Inhale, exhale. Now, if you notice in the workout today, like, oh, this is feeling really easy. That's a really good indicator of like, hey, like time to invest in some heavier weights. It's not, you're not gonna get bulky going heavier. Opposite direction, and then we're gonna jump into it. You guys ready? Um, you're probably gonna hear me complain on the bicep curls. I'm not gonna lie, because it's a lot of bicep curls, okay? So no repeats here. We're gonna do each move for about 30, 45 seconds. If you're new, my timing and my my numbers get a little skewed. I'm gonna start with my 10 pounds. My husband brought them back home. That was so nice of him, but I'm gonna drop to my five pounds most likely in a little bit. Standing up nice and tall here, nice and simple. Roll the shoulders down and back in three, two, one. Just starting with bicep curls. Now, with strength training, we are really focusing on more slow controlled movement. We're not trying to go for like 100 reps here. I would love for you to go heavier with proper form and do less reps. That's actually gonna create even better muscle toneness and definition. It will not make you crazy bulky. Like, trust me, if you are gonna get bulky, it ha it's gonna like happen in a gym and eating a ridiculous amount of food. Okay, whoo, come on, three. Let's do two more, two. Excellent, you've got this mama, one more. Good, I'm gonna drop down to my knees. If dropping down to your knees is too much, just do the hammer curl standing, that's totally fine. This just changes it up a little bit, recruits a little bit more core. So hammer curls, dumbbells facing in, inhale, exhale, and down, okay? Now the trick with bicep curls, if you are somebody who's kind of experimenting with going a little bit heavier, what you'll notice is once we start to go a little bit heavier, we're gonna wanna recruit a little bit more of that full body, right? And so you might have some swaying. We really wanna minimize that, all right? Um, the less swaying, the better. If you're doing like, say I'm training a client in person and we're doing a one rep max, I might be like, yeah, you can sway a little bit to get it up. But for the most part, when you're staying light, you're doing eight to 10 reps, you really wanna keep that core from not moving which is great because now we're working the biceps and I have a little bit of core recruitment as well. 
Okay, so we got a win-win. Three, whoo, two, last one. I'm gonna go to standing next. We're gonna go to a bent bicep curl. These are hard. So I want you to keep a nice flat back here. All right, I might have to drop low. So make sure you're in a good position. Core is on, all right? And then curl here. I'm gonna drop down to my fives because I told you it's, it's heavy here. Three, two, one, curl it up. So try not to keep the arms from like wiggling out too much, just bending at the elbows and releasing. And again, if the, um, if the bent over is too much, come to half, okay, right there. That's your other option. I always give you guys lots of modifications, especially for my pregnant, postpartum, all of that fun stuff, advanced moms, whatever it may be. I always have lots of modifications. And if you find you're doing a workout and you don't, you're like, dang, I need a modification, just comment below or you need a different cue for something like, hey, I wasn't feeling this. Do you have another cue? I have hundreds. Whew. Come on. Three, two, last one. Good. Last of the bicep curls is gonna be bicep pulses. So hold here. All right, pulse it up. Okay, pulse it up. There we go, good. You've got this. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Thought it was gonna be worse for me, but I did it, I did it. Now triceps is another story, okay? Cause that's coming next. Little pulses here, keep pulsing. Woo! I want you guys to go, to go for the full 30 seconds. We will take a 30 second break, moving into tricep stuff. <sighs> Smile on your face, mama. Come on, come on up. Let's go, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna go into triceps. Now triceps typically are gonna be a little bit lighter for you, so make sure you have, again, a couple options if you need to drop down your weight, all of that good stuff. So we are gonna start with tricep kickbacks, bent over, okay? Um, I'm starting with my five pounds, because so it's gonna be, I wish I had my two pounds, to be honest with you guys, because <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> all right, bent over here in three, two, one, nice, beautiful, straight spine, kick it back. Now, don't let the shoulders come up towards those ears, relax them down, keep, the armpits glued. So like you're squeezing a little orange in between there. Whew. Okay, kick it back. If you're not feeling it, try doing a little pause at the top here to really get that tricep engagement. All right, sometimes you're gonna feel it more in one arm than the other. So play around with it, maybe alternate. See if I, you can get that left to activate a little bit more. You guys, my cats are all out right now. So if, the camera moves, it's a cat, right? Three, two, one, excellent. I'm gonna go to a seated position. You can do this a couple ways. If the seated is too much, just do it standing or kneeling. I'm actually gonna have my legs straight out. This is gonna recruit a little bit more core straight out in a V is what I meant, okay? <laughs> we can do this, okay. Three, two, one, overhead here, bend and straighten. Now, if you're like, Megan, this is a lot on my hip flexors, bring it back in here. Okay, that's totally fine. All right, this just gives you a little bit of a different angle. Whew. If you're feeling it really tight on your back, go to standing. Try it a few different ways. And if you're just starting out with strength training, it takes a minute to learn like what hurts your body, what doesn't, what feels good for your body. If it doesn't feel good, it might not be for you and that's okay. Okay, or it might not be for you right now. Maybe in a little bit you can do it, a little bit down the road but do the modification that works for you, okay? Three, two, and one. Ah, those uh, are my least favorite. Okay, going into tricep push-ups. Now, tricep push-ups can be very challenging. Feel free to do it on a wall, add an incline, whatever you got. My hands are gonna be right underneath my shoulders. I wanna think about my elbows shooting back, okay? Now, spread your fingers wide. You're gonna go down all the way up, okay? The goal is to get all the way down, press all the way up. When we are in our push-up, we are also thinking about recruiting other parts of the body. Yes, mainly triceps here, but I am recruiting a little bit of glute, a little bit of core, and a little bit of chest, okay? See if you can get five to 10 in here. Seems like a lot. Go at the pace that's right for you. Take the breaks that you need. Woo! and recite your affirmations. I am strong, I am worthy, I've got this. Whew, three, two, 
One, take a second. We're gonna do little pulses. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna do little pulses here, all right? You're gonna see me squirm. We're just gonna pulse. These ones, you don't have to go all the way down. Stay up out of the neck as best you can. <laughs> when I start singing, you know I'm hurting, okay? <laughs> Come on, whoo, sing with me. We can do hard things, we are moms, we have done harder things than this. Three, two, one. Okay, 30 second break. How we doing? Not bad, right? So with strength training, we're not going for like, <gasps> right, we're not going for a hit here. We're really going for like muscle fatigue, all right? So if you're like, why aren't I huffing and puffing? Which technically you probably are huffing and puffing. And if you're not, you probably need to go a little bit heavier, but you know what I mean, the huffing and puffing like, if you were doing a hit class, all right? Alternating bent rows, going next. I'm gonna have my dumbbells. There's a couple different ways you guys can do this. I'm gonna show you my way, okay? So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna row, drop it down, switch. If that is too much, you are here, alternating. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Row. I can probably go a little bit heavier. Now, when you guys are doing back stuff, back is probably gonna be able to go a little bit heavier than like your triceps. Okay, just giving you guys a little bit of anatomy just so you guys have a better idea, especially if you're just starting out with strength training or you feel like you've plateaued in your, your strength training, giving you guys ideas how to make it challenging, how to keep progressing so you don't plateau and you get to that physique that you, you know, desire. And I gotta tell you guys, if you don't know, you gotta do the nutrition too, okay? Whew, come on, Whew, come on mama, three. Two and one, it could have gone heavier, but we good. Okay, we're gonna go on to our stomach next. Now, you don't have to do this one on your stomach if it gets too much. It's just gonna be a swimmer. So you can do it standing. All right, but I'm gonna do stomach. It's gonna give me a little bit more activation, a little bit more challenge here. So on your stomach, moving slow. You move back here, straight arms, chest slightly lifted all the way. Okay, squeeze all the way here, back behind you. Think about squeezing shoulder blades and give it a little pause as well. <sighs> little pause. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, find your rhythm. <sighs> I'm huffing and puffing even though I said, it's not like hit, everything feels like hit to me. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> I just work hard. And talking's another level when I'm teaching. Whoo, come on, mama. Give me three more. Three. I'm regretting that three, but we can do it. Two. Last one. Oh, that was like a shoulder one. Okay, so coming up, kneeling wide row here. Okay, so one hand. Actually, let's do let's just do both since we're tight on time. Okay, so both hands here. Nice neutral spine. Row wide, come together. Row wide, let's go. Wide row. This one might feel like, okay, I gotta go a little bit lighter. We're recruiting a little bit more lat. Okay, stay out of that neck. Make sure you're rowing back a little bit, not too far in front of the face here, okay? Really going for that target of the back muscle, not the neck. Whew, come on, mama. Let's go. We're almost there. Find your happy place. Pretend you're at a beach. We're doing this on a beach with me. That'd be nice, right? Okay, we can manifest that. Whew. We can manifest that one day. Three, two, one. We're gonna go back onto our stomach. We're gonna do goal post, goal post pulses. That is a mouthful. All right, so back here. Um, hands into that goal post position. This is gonna be a burner. We can do it, okay. Goal post position here, baby pulses. Come on, pulse it here. Tap in, tune in, take a break if you need it. These are a different type of burn, a good burn, but they hurt so bad. Come on, Whew. keep going, keep going. 15 seconds, we're almost there, mama, come on. I believe in you, I believe in you. Six, five, three, come on, two, one, yikes. Okay, shake it out, sit back onto child's pose. 
take a moment, ground down, you did it, 15 minutes. Be really proud of yourself that you got something done, okay? You really don't need to be in the gym for an hour. There's some, some times where you wanna be, sometimes where you wanna progress to that, but if you're somebody who's tight on time, these workouts are really perfect for you and you're gonna see amazing, amazing results. Now, before we go, we always say affirmations, all right? Before we dive into the affirmations, don't forget if you're loving these workouts, check out the Fit Mama app below. We do 30 day challenges every single month, 20 minute workouts guided with me, programming, nutrition, all of the fun stuff, okay? Hands to heart center, repeat after me. Whew, I love my body. I cherish my body. Say it out loud, mama. I respect my body. There's a reason why I say this stuff. I love who I am. I'm an amazing mom. I'm an amazing friend, partner, wife, all of the things. And I've got this. Yes. All right, mama. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below workout done so I can cheer you on after this and check out all my other offerings. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.